Hey, this is Paul. First off, I know that some people are not going to like what I have to say, but oh well. Today is the day that airplanes fell out the sky, crashed into the building, then crashed into the ground. Most people in this country will celebrate this day or acknowledge this day or recognize this day. Well, I call this Terrorist Day. Because as a child, I was always told that this was the greatest country in the world and that the president was the most powerful man in the world. Well, from what I know and from what I've seen, September 11th was the day that the world truly found out just how prepared and how powerful my country really is. And just how our government simply is not prepared to protect our country. Maybe the entire thing was a ruse. I honestly believe that the entire thing was staged for the explicit purpose of getting George Bush re-elected, number one, and getting the U.S. Army into Iraq, number two, and subsequently into Iran, number three. Because if it was truly about terrorists attacking this country, then we would have caught Osama bin Laden by now. This is the same nation that televised the assassination of a president. And I think that only that event was only to prove that A, they can do it, and B, to show Americans just how vulnerable they really are. And it's much as that they can put themselves in a position of trusting their government with anything and everything. There was a film released uh, a few years ago called Wag the Dog. It was about an American administration faking a war to reelect the president. Now, obviously, what happened on September 11th wasn't fake. But it's pretty clear what happened afterwards. A war, a re-election of a president that admitted his administration misled the people. And, evidently, the voters didn't seem to care. And so here we are, celebrating September 11th. The day that the world found out that America is not prepared and its government is not ready to protect us. Or maybe it was just an excuse to get into Iraq. The point is, it's not a day for celebration or acknowledgement or recognition. Yes, people died, and that's very unfortunate. But it, it just goes to show that this government is lying to its people and deceiving us. And if we continue to allow it to happen, then, quite frankly, we get what we deserve. This war, the people, no one died to go after Saddam Hussein. All of this was just a big roots and I think the American people we were just duped so all the speeches and all the parades and all they no, they can cry all the tears that they want to but the real terrorists are sitting in the White House if you got this far I appreciate it